<laughs> the lion said, no matter how bad it is in the jungle, he will not eat grass. Those who make peaceful change inevitable also make violent change unavoidable. <laughs> Because of Ebenato, oh Geru, the gods of our land. <laughs> Iwe, there is another case of a hanging coffin before the palace again. Banato is in serious trouble. Your Highness, we have serious problem at hand. Our community is in a state of confusion. In fact, as we speak, our people are leaving the community en masse for fear of the unknown Igwe. Igwe. We set out two indigenous two weeks ago, and they are not yet back. <clears throat> I thank all of you for your concern. It's quite possible they encountered some problems on the way. But I am positive they will come back. The gods of our forefathers, the gods of Ebenato, will bring them back. Let us wait. Slept, not for once. Always having sleepless nights. All is not well in this land. Some chiefs just hurried in to see the way. Your father. So I should be worried. Mom, see, I believe everybody should just keep calm. See, the people they sent to Akajo for every town. I believe they will come up with the good news because this hanging casket out there is no longer for me. Hmm. I think you're right. But shouldn't be standing here with them. Come on. Let's go. Okay? Okay. Ebenebe, Ogeni Kaina, Fonkwanka. Ejeni, 
Not again! Not again! lives of our people they are on their way to consult with you they have to fix the only possible way <sighs> people of Ebenato you seek that which is hidden for generations hmm. um, where's one we understand you know why we are here. Your wisdom is what we seek. A great terror has befallen us. You are the only one favored by the gods to utter words that wreck the hearts. Please, don't abandon us. What you see in your time is not a deed cursed by your generation. I have always prayed not to see these days, yet they are here. My father told me this when I was a boy, that when coffins rise before the palace, must the beginning of the reprisal of an ancient deed. Uh, 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 where is one? What is this ancient deed and uh, how do we stop it? No man can stop this occurrence. It is meant to be when the time comes. Hmm. Uh, 
must we then fold our hands and watch every dead body in Ebenezer community suspend in the air before the palace? <laughs> Nay, this is sacrilege. Hmm. Very soon, our community will be seen as an evil possessed people. Mm -hmm. And our children will no longer be accepted anywhere else. <laughs> Suitors will no longer come after our young girls. Inter-community trade and relationship will stop. And even at all, we become a topic in the whole world. So, and escape where's one? Where's one? <laughs> we cannot continue like this. Please, you must do something. Suggest we go beyond the river of Ibolo. I hear there is a great area beneath the hills of Eden. I think he can be of help. Your Highness, Ichie Manume has spoken my mind. Akarika, the son of Great Iwen lives beneath the hills of Eden. I hear he is and lies with the gods. He can be very, very useful to us. <sighs> Iwe. The hills of Egypt are a million miles away. Men who have embarked on the same journey never came back alive, Iwe. Ichiakune, this is not the time to suggest caution. If going to the hills of Egypt will bring the solution we need, why won't we go there? <laughs> There's no need for that. Gods, you can leave us now. Ide, you would have sent us word from Banagu to Ebenato instead of coming yourself. Banagu is a two day distance from me, and you know. The gods guide my steps. Ebenato. It's my mother's home. What concerns Ebenato matters most to me. Welcome. So, what good news did the gods bring? Igwe, there is only one way. Which is? The coffins will remain there until those deeds are undone. What are those deeds? Those deeds will be too heavy for your ears. Only with your eyes can you understand them. How? Between your lips. It will keep it deaf and dumb till the images pass. Ha! <laughs>
He said, uh, hmm. But tears will never cease from the eyes of your subjects. <laughs> it can only take the supremacy of the gods to avert this great misfortune that will befall this great kingdom just because of the iniquity of one man. One man! Who is this man? How can we find him? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You are to find him. Chatapa, Chatapa, nobody me. Chatapa, I want to appeal to every one of you to remain calm. I will make sure that I find a lasting solution to this problem. Commit her to the mother. I shall send the elders to her, to her parents to console her. Are you still there alone like a weekend? I've never known you to be like this. You've always been vibrant and lively. My friend, whatever it is 
I was you. It's very mind. Talk to me. It is only when the ground is conducive that dogs can lie. What is bigger than the cricket has come into its house. Ebenato is in trouble. It is so hard to believe that the woman that I saw yesterday, just yesterday, had her life ripped off last night. My legs could barely carry me the moment the news got to me about her death. But I still wonder who is responsible for these killings and what he is using them for. Five girls have died mysteriously. They have been killed in the same way. Ha, has it also occurred to you that all the bad girls are pigeons? It's about time. We, the use of a Benatom, rise up and find a solution to these killings. We are the living country. And we are have to come back. Even the problem here is don't even know how to find the killer. Iwe, Mbibi told us that the gods have blessed us. To me, it is not a blessing. It is a cause in this country. Mm. The only way to find the lasting solution to this problem is to find the killer. Mm. Iwe, I suggest we deploy every available means to find this killer. Find this killer and sacrifice him to the gods. Only then shall we find rest in this community. You all will have to go home now and think of what to do. We cannot allow anyone to destroy this idea. The little son that even the mighty beats is his pain. Oh, give a vima sura or any. Oh, Chendo. I beseech thee to grant me my request. 
I know you do not forsake those who call on you. I make way no me ha. I dem enye ge bulo ocha bara aba. E bulo ato. Ne kwa gbo ku ocha ni to. Chai ochendo. Ochendo. Me kwa ni me ha na ari obi. I wish to be the next mouthpiece of the gods of this kingdom. Ochendo. Ochendo. Egbede. 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 Oh, Chendo! Oh, Chendo! Oh, Chendo! <laughs> now, I look forward to being the next chief priest of this kingdom. <laughs> oh, Chendo! Hey! You are the intercessor of man and spirit. To what do we owe this message? Hmm. Mystery is only given to men, but to the gods, it's an ordained arrangement. Igwe, someone has been coming to the shrine to offer sacrifices to the gods on personal will. And the reasons for this sacrifice, I do not know. But I tell you this, it's only the gods that can grant his or her heart's desire. Igwe, you should be ready. Be ready for whatever the outcome will be. You are the mouthpiece of the gods, the keeper of the shrine. The affairs of the shrine should be your concern and not that of the Igwe. <laughs> Igwe, I sense evil. Evil! And the weight of this evil will be so heavy that no one can bear it. I suggest you should be seeking for solution. Now, what is the solution to the problem? Tell us. And where do I start from? My people are wallowing in pain and my heart bleeds for them. Hmm. Hmm. The gods are yet to speak. You should pray to the gods for duration. I take my leave. <laughs> Whatever it is that brings you up on your seat is capable of destroying the whole kingdom. My husband, what is it that troubles your mind? What's this? Why do you talk as if you are a stranger? My kingdom is in trouble. My people are bereaved. Our future mothers are dying by the day. And it's sad enough that I cannot even find their killer. And here you are, 
asking me what troubles my mind. <sighs> my husband, but why have the gods not spoken? That is the problem. I don't know why they have refused to speak. I need to find a solution to this problem. I need to find out who it is that is killing my subjects. My king, don't you think it would be wise to offer sacrifice to Unai, the God of Justice? He may offer solution to this problem. Don't forget you are a blessing to this kingdom. Soon, all this will pass by. You have spoken well, my wife. I will give you the thoughts. Hmm? Mm -hmm. He whose house is on fire does not chase after us. Our kingdom is on fire and we must act fast. We shall visit the shrine of Obinaba for solution. Maybe he will have an answer to our problem. Igwe, I have been taken towards that direction too. Igwe, have the gods not spoken yet, not even a word. Then let us go and do the sacrifice and see if we can obtain favor from the gods. Since we all are in agreement, we shall visit the shrine of Oginagba at sunrise. The Ono shall lead the delegation. First, we shall visit the shrine of Oginagba for solution. Maybe he will have an answer to our problem. Igwe, I have been taken towards that direction too. Igwe, have the gods not spoken yet, not even a word. Then let us go and do the sacrifice and see if we can obtain favor from the gods. Since we all are in agreement, we shall visit the shrine of Oginagba at sunrise. The Ono shall lead the delegation. Oginaba, the God of Justice, we your children are here before you. We cannot do without the gods. In less than eight market days, we have brought four maidens without knowing who the killer is. We have come here to you now with the sea sacrifice mm. for you to find out who the killer is. Our kingdom is falling apart. Oginaba, accept our sacrifice. Our land is full of honey. But people of bad mind have come to turn it upside down. Accept this our gift. And let us believe that you exist and you are still with us. Thank you for hearing us. <laughs> Our girls are still alive. Yes. Yes. They are great. Yes. They are great. So great.
Ebenato, the gods of Ebenato, O Geru, the gods of our land. Chey. Um, you are one of the finest warriors in this village, and it is the wish of every father to give out his daughter to a man who protects her. You are welcome, my son. Um, you have to come back before market day when I'll give her the baby for sanctification into marital life. <sighs> May the God bless you and your family. Nah. Nah. I thank you so much for accepting me into your family. I promise to make you very good son in law. I think I don't yeah. have much to say for now. I always know that you are a very good man and strong man for my daughter. Please always take care of my daughter very well. I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. Eh? I know. Eke is going to be a very good in-law to this other house. <laughs> and we are going to enjoy him very well. Doing... Mama, you see, <laughs> my friend here will take very good care of it. He will take, you know, a man cannot learn to use left hand in his old age. My friend will not change. He will become more and more responsible. <laughs> Soon become my wife. You are all that I've ever dreamt of, and I love you to my heart. Oh, baby, don't call me your wife yet until you're married. You know it's a sacrilege to call me your wife when we are not married. I can't wait for the virginity test to be carried out. Once it is confirmed, I will not wait for a minute to make it the mother of my children. By sunrise, I will go for the test. That's we shall do it. You will become the wife of my dear friend. Teta, how did you find us here? Okay, I want to start going. My mother will be looking for Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I will take you home. No, thanks. Chiwe, hope I'm not the one chasing you. No, you're not. I just have to go. It's okay. But be careful. Okay. What? You are so favored to have her so wife. She is indeed a gift from the gods. She is. Hmm. What can you say, Jamogo? Anungangampi. Mutu kito nyo nya kewu. Oji woka kwara na abana mu. Oka ru se bosu nyo su kebu tu kwa camera fa na nguni atoka mbode ndo. Ya wume tato. Ah lele. Hasiki na sa. Hmm. Asa bula go bankule ke la kwangi. Hmm. 
Okari se je mogo. Anu nganga mpi. Ajo kitu maku na netala tanjele. Dike moje egu. Ogwa ne mbendu na ti oto. Hmm. Iya kita de to ya fuku mo nyu hanyo gbogbo abo. Aja pa mi ngbo se ru mo ru mu no ku. My daughter, it is a thing of joy when a father gives his daughter's heart to a man to be taken care of and to make her own family. The gods have smiled on you. They have blessed your marriage. Yes, sir. Hmm. Your marriage is successful. Yes, sir. You will give birth to great men and women. Yes, sir. May the gods bless your home. Yes, you will bring good joy to your home and family. Yes, Stand up. You cannot step forward. Take your nephew home back to her parents. Make sure she remains untouched until her final marriage rite is performed. Only then she's allowed to go back to her husband's place. Hmm, you are blessed. Be came a What are you going to do with your husband? What are My elders. Yeah. You're all welcome. Thank you, Igwe. So tell me, how did it go? It went well, Igwe. Mm. She was well kept. Okay. And she passed the test of the gods. Good. Thanks to the gods. Despite what is happening in this kingdom, we still have some of them that have not defied themselves for the fear of being killed. I honestly did not know that Mazitike has a daughter. Let alone the one that is right for marriage. It goes to show how far these children can grow. It seemed like yesterday when we had a cry of a baby Mazitike yes. And now she's a grown woman. <laughs> I heard that you are getting married to Chim, daughter of Mazidi. Yes, my head. The girls has decided. To favor me, be beautiful man. When a boy decides to become a man, the forces that are with the man will rise up to confront him. I wish you luck. I'm so happy that you will not become my wife. You will make a beautiful home and bring forth great men. I was afraid when you stepped into this room. For one time, I remember you were standing before me. My heart became so strong because the right beside me is one of the greatest men I've ever seen. I drive the most beautiful men. I'm so proud of you. Obi, I'll start going to have you with me. Mama should know you are with me and that you are safe. Don't forget, I stay with my parents. And until all the rights are performed, I see them as When a man is digging a rat hole and finds the rat, killing it will no longer be a problem. Very soon, you will be mine. I look forward to that day, but now I have to start going. I have to go with you to ensure you are safe. Don't worry. Your heart is a bit fine. Mine is just a same thing. I will take care of myself. Okay. Go in peace. Peace. I will see. 
continue to hold by some but the course for a long time. Smashing my tool on the ground. This is a bad one. Something must be wrong somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
Oche kwando. Oche kwando. I greet you. Your faithful servant is here to give you sacrifice as usual. Oche kwando. You are my keeper. You make life and you take it. I must fulfill my promise to you. Continue to hide your face from anyone who seeks to reveal my secrets in this kingdom. I offer this to make my years longer than any king that has ever reigned in this kingdom. In fact, I want to live forever. I want my subjects to obey me at all times. Jamat. So you had one killing your subjects. You killed the future mothers of this kingdom just to sustain your life. Do you forget that our lives is in the hands of the gods? No one will live forever. No one. Our land. Where are the gods of our land? Where are the gods of Ebenato? The gods of Ebenato. Oh, Geru. Hey! The gods of our land. Chai. Hey! Yeah, they go. I say, me. Give me, me. I say, me. Yeah, they go, me. I say, me. Chuandu's death has taken away the man in me. I wish to join her. No, don't say that. You are a mighty man. You are a warrior. You have to be strong. You have to be a real man. Please. Where are you going to? Do you go someone here at his palace? You go someone here? Alright, I'll go with you. Let's go. My elders, 
Igwe. Igwe, you summoned me. Yes, I did. Um, we want to sympathize with you over the death of your wife to be, Shinwe. Thank you, Igwe. But I still don't know why you summoned me to the palace. Yes. Okay. We would like you to tell us what happened to Chiyun and our chief priest. Igwe, I don't understand. You were the person that was with her that, 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 that night. After he brought her home and the chief priest told everyone that he's going to expose the killer. To everyone's surprise, the chief priest will find death this morning. Uh, uh, are you suggesting that my friend killed his wife to be and the chief priest? How can you say a thing like this? What cause do I have to enter into the sacred shrine of our great kingdom and kill the mad piece of the gods? The same gods that made you kill Chiume led you to the shrine to kill the chief priest so that your evil deeds will be concealed. Uh, uh, uh. May you live long, Your Highness. My friend here cannot even hurt a fly, let alone killing someone. Igwe, we have been friends from childhood. Igwe, he cannot do a thing like that. You talk like a toddler. Do you not know that we human beings, we mortars, can change within the twinkle of an eye? I did not kill anyone. I have never killed before and I will never kill. But, no. Enough! He remains in the dungeon until the truth is found out. Igwe. Igwe. My son, listen and listen carefully. What an elder sits down and sees. If a child like you climbs on top of Paniroko, he will not see it. If you love him, go home and pray to the gods on his behalf. My cabinet and I hereby express our heartfelt sympathy over the death of your brother and baby. Mm. The former chief priest of this church. Oh. He was indeed a good man. Um, as we all know, no kingdom can stay without someone representing them in the spirit world. And since the brother did not have a son, we invited you to come and take over from him as the chief priest of this great kingdom. <laughs> It has always been my wish to be of service to this great kingdom. Um, my brother, Ulibi, has died. It is heartbreaking. But who are we to question the will of the gods? Igwe, <laughs> with all humility, I can assure you, I can assure you all, that I will do my best to serve this kingdom. <laughs> he has spoken well. What is one on the finger does not need a mirror before you see it. <laughs> it is your reputation that brought you to this position. Um, no mortar is faultless at all. But if it is the will of the gods, I will walk hard to return our past glory. It is the gods themselves who have chosen you. We will make sure you are not disappointed. Igwe, your ascension to the throne of your father is a divine arrangement. Your wisdom is unique and your judgment is a direction 
from the gods. Igwe, hmm? Eke, hmm. is the killer. Eke killed Chiwe, and Eke killed my brother Mbibi, so that his evil deeds will not be exposed. But this is the end of the road for him. Igwe, AK must be stoned to death. Hmm. Igwe has said it. His hands are not clean. Yes. So he has been the one behind all this. He will pay with his life. Igwe. Hey. It is said that for every action, every day is for the thief, but one day is for the owner of the town. This young man here, Eke, has been the terror in our kingdom. The result of murder. But today, the next is Haro. I am innocent. I did not kill Chiwe, nor the chief priest. I swore with my life. I am innocent. Will you shut up? Keep quiet. Okay. Sometimes the gods close their eyes on their children to enable them change from their evil ways. But you have refused to turn away from their bad ways. And they have exposed you. Hmm. You have taken away sleep from my eyes for so many years. But today is the end of the road for you. Yes! Mm. yes. Your cup is full. And you will face the full consequences yes. of your actions. Even if I die, I demand the truth. And we accept and faith. Okay. But the gods of Abelato will bear me a witness. And I have never laid my hands on any member of this community. I have never said on this accusation. You lie. You lie. Yeah. He shall be stoned to death. Yes. yes. That is the consequence. He will. Yes. Take it away. Shut up. Take it away. Take it away. Shut up. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away.
Of our land, where are the gods of our land? Where are the gods of Ebenato? The gods of Ebenato, oh, Geru, the gods of our land. Chai, you are the gods of our land. You are the gods of Again, what is it? Igwe Udoka the Pawan Tapa. He just fell down from his Pawan tree and died immediately. <laughs> Was he drunk before he climbed the palm tree? Igwe Udoka is the only Pawan Tapa who does not drink. Something is wrong somewhere. I smell a rat. Run straight to the mouthpiece and tell him that I seek his consent. At what? Yes, Your Highness. What is it again? Oh. What happened to your husband? My husband was stung to death by bees. <laughs> Why are you running to us? Hmm? The king requests your presence at the palace. What is the problem? Speak. Why does the king request my presence so urgently? Two dead bodies are floating in the air in the palace. The 
return to the palace. Tell the king that thou be with him. Sure. Okay, where is one? Thank God that you are here. Mm. Mm. What is happening? Igwe, mm. this is not good at all. A strange evil has entered this kingdom. It is a sign of destruction. Something needs to be done very, very fast. What do we do? What do we do? Huh? If there's anything we need to do, please tell us. Let us do it immediately. Mm. Before this is dead, you will cleanse our lives. Please, tell us. <laughs> that decision lies with the gods. When they speak, you will hear. I'm still wondering the meaning of all this. Gods of our fathers. What is the meaning of all this? What have we done to incur the loss of the gods? Who has offended the gods? But your highness, I thought you have settled with the gods. Because the person committing the evil has been exposed and dealt with. And his punishment was based on destruction of the same gods. What could be the problem? Hmm. Your highness, you must ask the chief priest as a matter of urgency to speak to the gods to provide a solution to this problem before our entire village goes into a station. Because he sees ahead of every one of us. That's what we are supposed to do. I shall consult him at sunrise. What brings you to the power by this time? Your Highness. How do I get down the body of my husband so that he can be buried?
Each of them represents one of these gods. <laughs> when the body counts, it's up to seven even. The full anger of the gods will come and rise up to wipe away the entire kingdom. <laughs> Even the trees, no life will be spared. Sand will return to sand. Water will return to water, just like it was at creation. There is indeed big trouble. We are in trouble. Okala, mm -hmm. this is not good at all. What do we do? What do we do? I shall be meeting with the priests of this cause and seek for the solution. Adam, Okan, have you forgotten that there are seven in number? How long will it take you to consult all of them? Listen. We don't have time. Our kingdom is on fire. In just one day, we have had several mysterious deaths. Who knows how many will join by sunrise? I shall meet with Akalika and the servants of this cause to see if they can spare us this calamity. I will go with you. Let me go with you and plead with them. Let me go and plead for forgiveness and ask them to help us. I know you're a man with a lion heart. But the heel of Ukoba is not a place for mortals. I shall meet them at the foot of that hill myself. My feet dare not go up the hill lest I be consumed. I shall meet them and ask for their help. Beg them for mercy. That's what I'll do. Okay. Whatever you need to do, do it fast. Before this impending calamity consumes the entire kingdom. At sunrise, I will journey to the hill of the mm. But while I'm gone, you go in and pray to the cause of our land, the cause of our ancestors, to preserve me till I return with the solution. Hmm? I will do just that. Let's go. The traitor have rejected your land. The cry of innocent have been heard. You have done the abominable by shedding innocent blood. And now the gods have turned their back on you. And that is nothing anybody can do. Fat. Mm -hmm. 
know that we have done the unforgivable. That is why I have come to beseech you for forgiveness. Please, spare our lives. Show us your mercy. Please be cozy and me. We are guilty of everything you have said here. We deserve the condemnation. The gods are right in their judgment. But because you know me, please show us your mercy. Please. You seek for the impossible. Go and tell your king that what he seeks, he shall find. Go to your people. Tell them to prepare to join the assistance. Go! Igwe... What is it? Igwe is Lolo. What happened to Lolo? Speak before I cut the head off. Igwe Lolo is dead. Hey! Huh? Oh, but lie on the floor of our house. This is no longer a joke. My wife is gone in the course of this unprecedented evil. Who knows whose turn it will be next? Lord is the third corpse floating outside the palace. Okala told us once they are seven in number, the entire Ebenado will become history. What do we do now? Hmm. Even the ghosts themselves have abandoned us. What do we run to from here? Hmm. The worst that can happen to any man is to be dictated by the gods. Hmm. Even what do we do now? We are doomed. We are finished. The intercessor of man and spirit. Igwe. Elders of our land. Problems are still without solution. Okala, the mouthpiece of the gods. Was there no solution to the problem? None was given to me. I was only told to go home and inform our people to prepare their ways to join their ancestors. We have offended the gods and now they have turned their backs against us. What piece of the gods, if I may ask, what offense have we truly committed? Eh? What have we done? Lord of the innocent and all the lives which we have forcefully taken away have cried to the gods for vengeance. The gods have decided to hack into their cries and to visit us with their full wrath for the atrocities we have committed in this land. But even up to now, we don't know the killer. That is it. Huh? So why will the gods push you to the entire people? I wonder. They 
should single out the person and punish him instead of punishing the entire kingdom. That is it. That is the truth. Eh? The ways of the gods are not the ways of man. We all in agreement killed AK. But the gods say he was innocent of all the accusations that were leveled against him. That is why they are very, very angry with us. We need to pray. We need to pray very strongly. Igwe and I have been praying. And I believe that we will soon find a solution to our problems. Fear not, people of Ebenato. We bring message from the gods. My God has heavy ears. Hear what the gods have to say. Your sins must not be forgiven. You must be punished for all the atrocities you have committed. Your land will be wiped off. The cries of the innocents are heard. There is no hiding place for you. No man is greater than the gods. They have the keys of life. So get ready to face the wrath of the gods. Great ones. Because the enemy. Because the enemy. Is there no solution to our problems? Yes. Yes. We will do anything to please the gods. Great and mighty ones. Please help us. Help us. Let our cry. Put your hands. Please. Please. It will take a great sacrifice to postpone your punishment. You must sacrifice seven virgins in order to postpone the course to your future generation. Great and mighty ones, we have selected our seven virgins just as you demanded to offer them as sacrifice. Hmm? You have done wonderfully well, but this is not to pay for your iniquities, for it must surely come to pass in your kingdom. This is just to postpone the anger of the gods. We shall go with the virgins for sanctification and to meet with the other guidance. Then in the next four market days, we shall come back for the re-sacrifice. The sacrifice shall take place at the choosing spot. And you all must be present to be blessed. Then and only then you can be free. We shall do as the gods have requested us. Your Highness, these are the sacrificial lambs. We can then go ahead and do justice to them. According to the demands of our great Okwan, the God of protection and provision, I, King Ejamato, Ibrahim Kembune Banato, do sacrifice them to eat.
the king sacrificed seven innocent girls with the concept of ignorant villagers. I see. So this is all about a plot to satisfy a bloodthirsty deity. Yes, indeed. Yeah, but why is one? How does this whole thing relate to the hanging coffins outside the palace? Those hanging coffins are the symbols of the girls killed in cold blood. Calamity will strike Ebenato where the coffins rise to seven. How do we avert this calamity? Igwe, there is only one way. Which way? Ebenato must appease the souls of these villages, one after the other. Why? I mean, this, this, this is preposterous. Why must we take responsibility for what we did not do? I mean, this is a classic case of the Enos farting and the head receiving the knock. Why must it be us? Why? Your Highness, my father once told me that when the gods want to be mischievous, they prefer impossible remedies. I agree totally with what your father told you. Ide, what must we do? There are two special gifted virgins who live apart from each other behind the mountains of Malikwe. They have what it takes to end this calamity ahead. Find them. I give you my word. We shall find them. A wise one. We did not question your wisdom about the solution to the calamity about to befall us. But we are left along the road. Yes, wise one. We swallowed our spittle and concluded you acted according as the gods led you. Please, we do not have answers we seek. That is the need for this journey to Mbanago. Truly, you seek redemption. Wando, friend of the dead, she sees, speaks, and dines with the dead. Everyone in Uguakwata thinks she's crazy, but... I've talked to you severally about this. Come on. You know I don't go back to my ways. Well, I don't belong here anymore, Metu. Manager. Just give me a chance. I know there are no bridge between the living and the dead. As you can see, I am busy now. Let's talk about this later. Alright, my angel. Who, who was that again? What's that supposed to mean, Kelena? Me, yeah, I'm just wondering why you're talking to yourself. Please go back to your work. 
one though. You did not go for me again. Are you serious? Okay, wait, so tell me now. Tell me now. There's so many gifts for you. I'm waiting I tell me, tell me. See, I know what you want. I promise to deliver your message to your mother, okay? But you don't have to be coming to me. My, my brother is coming and he's been suspecting me. Um, come to my mother's kitchen and leave me so we'll finish our talk, okay? Okay. Come on now, let's go. Because did I understand that she's a gifted child? Um, the wise one. What about the other one? Oloma. Hmm. Sister to nature. She has a special favor with all living things, both plants and animals. No one in Odidankure likes her. Even her foster parents see her as an evil child. Yet. She can scare anybody with her witchcraft. No, she cannot do that. After all, I nursed her with my very breast. Yes, yes. I did. I brought her up. I raised her. Mm. When her, her stupid evil mother left her in the valley of Umuka. And now she, she, she knows what to say. Bia, she will come back to, me, to this house and make us.
The villagers seek her for through her. Seek her for through apps. They know nature will tell her the best apps for any sickness. Even hunters get good catch simply because she makes it happen. But why is what? Despite the maltreatment from their communities, they still bank on them on one way or the other for their special gift. Why is what? How do we make them to agree with our quest? That is the part you figure out yourself. But remember, only with love and care will you win their hearts for such a quest. Why is one? How do we get their parents or guardians to agree with us? They possess the powers to change anyone's mind. They are like gods in human form.
Father, I'm happy the people they sent came back with good news. And I can see you are also happy. Yeah, right, son. That's a very good observation you just made. Yes, for a long time I've been bothered by the situation in this community. But now that there is hope, I have every reason to wear a smile. You see, if care is not taken, this smile I'm wearing now may be wiped off my face. If the impending calamity that threatens to engulf this community is not averted, I am hopeful that the future will be bright. You see, there are coffins hanging over us. Except these coffins disappear, my joy will not be complete. But I'm hopeful. But Father, I feel useless staying at home. Why can't I take part in this quest? At least I can go with the bodyguards. You're a very young man. It will appear to you that you are at home doing nothing, to use your own words. But you have been nurtured as the crown prince of this kingdom. When I go, you will take over the kingdom and nobody else. This is why I don't want to risk any kind of exposure on your part. Anybody who wants to bring down this kingdom all he has to do is eliminate you, and that's it. And that I will not take. If you know who your father is, I will not take that. So you are not just moving around doing nothing. No, you are learning the ropes. You will end up as the future king of this community. Be satisfied with staying at home. Let the people we have sent do their jobs. about the explanation your father gave. No way, Mom. No way. Mom, whatever Dad is explaining to me is Baba. It's, it's not making sense to me at all. As far as I'm concerned, you know what? Dad is just keeping me indoors so as to keep me perpetually under his watchful eyes. That's it. Don't say such a thing. Your father will be very angry if he hears you talk this way. He is the custodian of tradition and custom of his land. Son, no right-thinking king will allow the heir apparent to the throne to go endangering his life. Oh, there you go again, Mom. Endangering my life, endangering my life. That's what everybody keeps saying. Mom, what about those people out there in the forest? Are they not endangering their own life? Mom, did you know the last time I stepped out of the room? I don't even know how the exterior of the building looks like. Mom, it's frustrating. Listen, son. And listen very well. This kingdom of Ebenato has lots of people that envy it. And will always want it to go down. And the easiest way to achieve that is either to kidnap or even kill the successor, which happens to be you. Think of what will happen to your father and I. He will just go down to the grave with grey hair in the morning. And that will be the end of this land. Yes, my son. Don't let that happen to us. We waited for many years before you came. Yes, my son. Listen to me.
Ichi Onora. Why are you not with the bodyguard? I had to sneak out from the palace to come and see you. I hope everything is all right with Sinus. Everything is okay. But Ichi, I, I'm not really happy. Yes. I'm not happy the way I've been relegated to the background. It's unfair to me. I, I don't understand. Explain to me. How? Ichi, I want to be part of the team that is going for the quest of the two dancers. But my dad don't want me to embark on such trip. Oh, is that what is bothering you? But have you spoken with your dad? Yeah, I spoke with dad. He gave me one silly excuse that, that, that I'm a crown prince, that I'm his successor. Imagine that. The custom demands that such crown prince shouldn't go for, 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 for such, such journey. That's exactly my thought. You see, what your father told you is exactly my position. If you come to me to, to seek for an advice, that is exactly what I would tell you. You see, you're a crown prince. You can't follow such a journey. Suppose if something happens to you, how do we explain it to the kingdom? Do you understand? Oh, listen, such a thing is supposed not to bother you. Your father is just trying to protect you because of the kingdom. So go home and sleep. Eh? You can't follow them. Right? Good luck, boy. I am happy you are here. Thank you, man. So, how did it go? Yes, it went. They all agreed to go. Good. They, were, they demanded yams, goods, rubbers, beads, and all the finest artifacts of the Benato King. That one? Yes, he will. We shall provide all of that and even more if they so request. This is a very good job to have you out. <laughs> Look, I have cola now. I have bitter cola. I have brandy. Yes, you will. It's all yours. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, baby. I am. I am. I am. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. 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 I am.
Of our land, where are the gods of our land? Where are the gods of Ebenato? The gods of Ebenato, oh Geru, the gods of our land. Chey, ye de gozeme, gine me, gine me, ye de gozeme, gozeme kwano bodo. This is where we we'll path. Okay, you know the way from here. Yes, I do. Good. Remember to protect our mother. Mother Iruka and Ubaja are waiting at Osisindu Junction. They will join you. Take them to Ugwabata while I take the rest to Oloma's village. You can go now. Hey, hey, hey. It's very heavy. Bring it down, bring it down. Bring it down. Mm. Ah, it's very heavy. Ah. Yes. Oh, yeah, leave it, leave it. Come, we have some visitors. Hmm? They have come from a very far place. Come and read them. Hmm? Them. Hey, let's go. There she comes. <laughs> Read them. Welcome. Hello, You're welcome, my daughter. Welcome. Welcome. You're welcome, my daughter. Hello, ma. Yes, she's our daughter. A very good daughter. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah, um, we have heard all you say. Hmm? Um, Oloma is our daughter. Yes. She will go with you. Mm. We are very grateful. Our Igwe, Igwe Ike Defe, mm -hmm. will be honored by your gesture. Mm -hmm. Thank you very wow. much. Thank you. And um, in appreciation, he has directed us to present this token to you. Open it now. That's the way. I still don't understand why my daughter was chosen by the cause of her women. No. The mystery behind this, we can't tell. Hmm? You see, we've come a long journey. And the future of our queen lies in innocent hands of Wando. Now, without Wando, we are in trouble. I mean, we're in a very big trouble. Eh? Big Thank you. Hey, why you Thank you very much, Sam. Big women are We have something for you to put here. Really? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 
This is a very dangerous task. I had rather take that than go back to my foster parents. They don't even want me in that house. I wonder how we are going to correct the past by appeasing the souls of those innocent virgins. That has been my concern lately. But that's not the brain behind my joy. So, what could that be? Hmm. That I will become a princess after the return of our adventure. <laughs> Ide, the task is before us. The chosen ones are here. Ide, the gods have shown the Bernard of favor. It's time now for us to fortify their minds and prepare them. Ikuku, it is your duty. To show them the mystery of the wire. Oh, could they? they will be confronted by the beasts, spirits, and evil. Show them their rabbit hole. I will teach them the wisdom of the past. Yeah. 
form is not just one of the mysteries of the world. But the ability to descend on impending dangers that lay in ambush. <laughs> <laughs> An army will rise from the south. But remember, it is one of the mysteries of the past. You shall not engage them in physical fight. So how then do we f defeat them? Remember, your mind is your battlefield. There alone will the fight be won. The dead bodies you see will fall before your eyes. <laughs> Hey, okay, 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 no matter how bad it is in the jungle, he will not eat grass. <laughs> when the bear learns how to fly without petrol, the hunter shoots without missing. <laughs> You will meet on your way. You need physical strength to combat. How, how do we differentiate between this category of warriors? Instincts. That's your instinct. Thank you. Come. You must leave now.
you must learn the wisdom of the past. For this is the key for the seven Dibias in charge of the seven heads of the seven virgins. This knowledge will serve you as a powerful weapon. Nani, and how is that going to be? Uh, Nani, does it mean that we will confront the seven Dibias? King Ejamato added the Dibias, the heads of the seven virgins, one after the other, on the day of sacrifice. Only these seven Dibias know where their heads are buried. There lies your mission. And what's the mission? The mission is to return the heads to their bodies so that the reprisal of the hanging coffin will no longer be upon the generation. Nani, how are we going to find out where they were buried? Miriam will show you, but you must find the Dibias yourself. And, and who are the Dibias? They are the seven Dibias of the seven clans of Eli Ebenato, which is now the seven villages that make up the community. One is Akalaka. to lose my sister, please, help us. Thank you, 
feathers of a Bernato. It is time to trespass the anthill. The subjects are ready. They have to proceed to the shrine of the day, the chief priest of Mubanako, accompanied by elders of the Benato for further fortification. The gods will lead them as they go and bring them back alive. <laughs> My daughters, sleep, sleep. Yes, This is where our past meet the future. Remember, let wisdom guide you. He say, I repeat, let wisdom guide you. He say, he say, go, he say, go, he say, go, he say. that Nene forgot her last steps. She could have won a coma. It's all her fault. I hate that she did not participate in the last Egoama practice. But Ada, that's very unfair. I think mean, she deserves something after that wonderful performance she put up there. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, 
Nene deserves to win that duel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then what happens to her come? What are you always talking about girls? Hey, hey, hey. What does she have that we don't have? Hey. What's your problem? Which, which, what, what? Is this not a cool stream? It's different here. For many generations behind. I am as surprised as you are. Could this be our past? Allow anyone take away what rightfully belongs to me. No one. See her mouth. Please. But Akoma won the contest just because of Nene's little mistake. How does the prize rightfully belong to her? Please, I'm leaving eh? mm -hmm. Because I can see that someone wants to be a judge over a contest that has already been completed. Oh, 
Hidden eye. Beware. Beware. Beware.
Guardian of the forest. And how did you know that? The tree told me. Thank you. It says we must hurry. They'll be back this way. Huh? Let's go! approaches.
people. And what do we do?
Ibe. Our people say a man who is this boss is afraid of prison. of the chameleon are merely for survival and not beauty. Even though we are living in total negligence of impending calamity. Your Highness. How do we survive this time if our daughters do not come back? I have listened to all of you and I thank you for your contributions. We live in very trying times. I accept we are faced with a very challenging situation. But I caution patience. Patience is a virtue which we tend to lose in moments of tribulation. The white man says discretion is the better part of valor. If we must make haste, let us make haste slowly instead of rushing into accidents. Our daughters will return. I am confident our daughters will return. Let us have the courage to hope for their return. I thank all of you.
talking about? Keep us from Quiet. Quiet. That food. Only the pure at heart can step into the sacred resting ground of the seven pages. Who was that? The keepers find us below. We must find this in to address at once. supposed to do now. Oh, 
us. What about the devious? We have to hurry. Let's go.
back to my parents' house. Can't you see? This is not the best time to leave the planet. It's dangerous out there. Please, Your Highness, allow me to go. Eh? How can evil be haunting us here? I can't stay here any longer. Please. lambs who can then go ahead and do justice to them
According to the demands of our great Okwan, the God of protection and provision, I, King Ejamato, Igwen Kembune Benato, do sacrifice them to eat. is in disarray. Our land is desolate. My people have all fled for their dear lives. Even members of my cabinet have deserted me. But Ebenato will not fall. No. No matter what the past may inflict on me, Eberato will not fall. I will not abandon this throne of my forefathers because I was not born a coward. I am the Igwe, the eye of the gods, the voice of the gods, the ear of the gods. I am the link between my people and the gods. Therefore, I will not be shaken. I will not be threatened. I shall stay here and defend the throne of my forefathers. Gods of our land. Whatever calamity we are compelled to endure through no fault of mine. So I call upon you defend your people, defend Ebenato, defend Ebenato, and I know Ebenato will not fall. They are here. Hold on to my friends.
their faith cannot be undone by two innocent hearts. The dark secret of evil shall be revealed. That was the prophecy of my birth. I have been chosen to lead the revenge of the seven killed in cold blood. You all must pay for your sins. Mirama. Mirama. Igwe, no one teaches the path of the forest to an old gorilla. This is Benato. This is our home. Igwe, we stand with you. It is impossible for the wind to stop the sun from shining. The ignorant deeds of our ancient past will never deprive us the good of our today. Let the gods know that today we stand against the deeds of our fathers and refuse to pay with our blood. Igwe! On what ground we stand? A Benato will not eat the calamity earned by our fathers. We are ready to die for the colors we know and not that which we know not. Never! Igwe! We will continue to fight this evil till the end. And I tell you, but a patriot can never be banished from a forest that was founded by his forefathers. No. By the powers conferred on me at the Igwe of this land, I hereby proclaim once again that Ebenato is our land. Ebenato is our home. And we are going nowhere. We are going nowhere. This is our land. Only weapon that defeated a brave man. Today, you are we. Die! It is he who the gods swore to kill that he first make him death. This is your end! Are you okay? 
for last taking of ID at all.
sunshine has returned to Ebenato. Today is a wonderful day in the history of our community. About three weeks ago, nobody knew that today we'll be here celebrating because of the calamity that threatened to wipe out our entire community. But the gods of our forefathers said, no, Ebenato must be free. Today, Ebenato is liberated and we are happy. But you see, the history of the liberation of Ebenato can never be complete without the contribution of two girls who are indigents and who swore with their very lives that they must set Ebenato free. I am happy that those two girls are here with us today. Who are they? Mwandu and Oluwama. Could you stand up for them to see you? These are two very pretty girls that took a lot of risk to ensure the survival of this community. I am happy that their parents are here to be part of this great occasion. You can sit down now. I am giving you my word at the Igwe of this community. But in exercise of the powers conferred on me, I shall, in due course, reward these two girls amply. Take a good look at them. If my wife had not been sitting here, I would have recruited two of them. So I thank all of you. You can sit down now. Music.